This morning, EU officials approved a plan that would force social media companies to take responsibility for offensive and violent content on their platforms. Facebook already employs 4,500 content moderators around the world. And our partners at The Guardian obtained more than 100 leaked training manuals, which for the first time show exactly what's allowed on the world's largest social network and what isn't. Moderators work on a special page called the Single Review Tool. There's a menu of options to review millions of reports flagged by Facebook users. Then, moderators say they sometimes have as little as 10 seconds to decide whether to ignore, escalate to a manager, or delete each post. So how hard a job is it? Let's start with the Holocaust. Facebook is committed to free speech, and in the US, that covers Holocaust deniers. But Holocaust denial is illegal in 14 countries, although the manual says Facebook is only concerned with four countries that actively pursue the issue with the company. So moderators have to decide if a post questions the existence of the Holocaust or minimizes the number of victims. If so, policing violence is far more complicated. In one of the leaked documents, Facebook acknowledges that people use violent language to express frustration online. So for instance, that's allowed. But threaten the president? That's not okay, because heads of state are in a protected category. Animal abuse? Uh, that's allowed. Child abuse? Amazingly, images of non-sexual child abuse are allowed too. Unless the child abuse, quote, is shared with sadism and celebration. Judging the difference between an abused child and a sadistically abused child, that's up to the moderators and their managers. Facebook allows some videos of violent deaths, such as the Facebook Live police shooting of Philando Castile last year, but asks moderators to mark them disturbing to protect minors. It also allows live streaming of suicide attempts and asks moderators to escalate each one. Videos are to be deleted once the person has been rescued or dies. When a proposed suicide method is deemed unlikely to succeed, and any suicide threat more than five days in the future, if moderating violence is hard, moderating sex seems impossible. A 65-slide Facebook document titled Sexual Activity explains that these posts are okay, but add any detail about how, when, or where? All handmade art showing nudity and sexual activity is allowed, but digitally made art about sexual activity is not. Even if a lot of handmade art is more pornographic than the real thing. Facebook admits in the leaked documents that the line between the two is difficult to enforce, but it asks the moderators to do so anyway. Facebook processes 1.3 million posts per minute, and the documents show that the company is at least trying to come up with policies on everything from profanity to cannibalism. It has automated systems to root out some extreme content, and the company has promised to hire 3,000 more moderators. It should hurry. Sources say current moderators move on quickly and suffer from anxiety and PTSD. And it's no wonder why.